What's up, everybody? Um, I just want to go ahead and start off real quick. I hate talking about wrestling. I hate talking about it. I want to be in there. I want to be on the ropes, taking bumps, uh, you know, doing whatever I can, jumping off the top. I want to be in that stuff. I'm not trying to just talk about it, but until I can get back into it, all I can do is talk about it and part in the chest meat. It's a little part in the chest meat. It's the only thing I can put on at the brief moment in time. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to go ahead. Like, I was initially thinking about ranting about how WWE has a really, really, really bad habit of breaking apart WWE tag teams and stuff like that because I personally don't like that. But then I realized there's too many people talking about WWE when it comes to professional wrestling on the internet anyway. So I figured I'd change my tune up a little bit and talk about another wrestling company that I feel doesn't get that much love. Reality of Wrestling. Booker T's company in Texas City, Texas. Look, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Booker T's takes on professional wrestling are a little different. You know, they're not something that I'm used to hearing. They're not something that you're used to hearing. Like, Booker T has certain... Like, because for every right thing that Booker T says, Booker T says something that you probably might not agree with as well. And that's understandable. These are his viewpoints. You know, so with that being said, you know, let's talk about the fact that he is active, he's actively responsible for sort of this rekindling, if you will, of the Texas professional wrestling aspect right now. Like, let's just... Let's just go down the list of like wrestlers that Booker T that's came out of, you know, uh, reality of wrestling. We got Deal Matt, we got Deal Matt, um, Alicia Fox, The Usos, um, Ember Moon. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, I don't even if they weren't part of the company, they were still essentially in reality of wrestling at some point, and I like to think that that matters. Um, I mean, right now you you have like you know like you have future talents and like you know Gino Medina, Mysterious Q, Rock C, AQA, Hyon, Rachel Rose, you know Fly Def, even though they're currently a tag team that's had to split up, you know like you have like all of these great wrestlers coming from Reality of Wrestling and they're just proving that they are amazing in what they do and it's crazy because I mean like I, I could list the roster all day. But, like, I would just, it would be much better just for y'all to just watch the show on your own. Because, like, even right now, the Fly Death Implosion is beautiful. You know, you have, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's good. It's, it's, I ain't gonna lie, it's great. You know, then you have these, these renegades of wrestling that are coming in and trying to take over and stuff like that. You have, you know, like, uh, I mean, and let's not, I mean, if you go into the historical facts, like, just maybe a few years back, as far as videos are concerned, you would see... You know, Gino versus uh, Cristiano. Cristiano versus uh, the Mass Luchador. You have, um, you have, uh, you know, the implosion of Legion. The, the, the cool breaking up. Double AJ uh, becoming, you know, becoming heel. You have, um, you know, Stevie Ray Incorporated. I mean, you have like all this cool stuff that happened, and you probably don't even know about most of it. I'm telling you, man, reality of wrestling, like, you know, I, I get it, you know, you, you, even if you don't like Booker T because of what he said about Naomi that one time, you know, like, just, like, the, the most ironic thing about Booker T is that, like, for his, for his viewpoints on women's wrestling, he has, like, quite possibly one of the best women's wrestling in Texas right now. Once again, like I said, you got, like, High On is going to become a big deal one day. AQA is going to become a big deal one day. Roxy is going to become a big deal one day. Rachel Rose is going to become a big deal one day. You have, like, I mean, like, the Diamonds Division. I mean, look at Kylie Ray. You know? I'm just saying. It's, it's crazy. Like, you know, I, it, it's crazy, you know, to just sort of, like, I, I, this is basically a, a little bit of an endorsement because, yeah. We do need to start talking more about reality of wrestling, and we need to start finding ways to make that a bigger deal than it actually is. You know, you remember how big of a deal Ring of Honor was? We need to start, you know, we need to make that into a thing for reality of wrestling. And let's not forget, why are you screaming in the cheap seats at WWE when you could be at the front row of wrestling? In the words of a former commentator, right now.